Hey guys. Uh, now, the following tank review of the Centurion one I did over a couple of days because sometimes my pain levels would get so high that I would have to take a break and so you're going to see me go through a whole spectrum of emotions in this video. Please do not say, take anything I say here personally. Um, I do use some harsh words, but then again, you got to understand, I was in a bad place mentally, um, and so I figured I would just completely redo the intro to that video. So, here it goes. Hey guys. Welcome to my review of the British Tier 8 Centurion 1 medium tank. Now, I'm kind of a, a, a handicap here because one, my crew are technically originally from the medium tank prior to this. Um, and all I've done is reskill them. And like I said, they lack a lot of skills. So take that in as what you will. There's not no two, three, four, five, six, seven tiered skill crew here. This is a single tiered crew, especially in the videos, the clips, the, the, the matches that you're going to see here. I'm not going to be doing any live matches. I'm, I've already recorded the fights and the matches and whatnot. And to it, to emphasis and premise a few things that I need to be said, which is, uh, let's take a look at the res research tree. Now, when you first get this tank, you're going to have this gun. And then you're going to want to upgrade it immediately to this one. Why? Take a look at the stats. Okay, you get 10 more average damage across the board, but it's the penetration that you need. 148 millimeters of pen with 208 millimeters with premium shells. I'm sorry, this gun right here should not be on this tank. It should not get this gun at all. This gun should not be on the tank it should get this gun and i just recently got the 20 pounder quick firing gun now when this tank first came out okay this gun was considered a both these guns were considered really good when this tech tree line first came out and then they started adding in tanks the make these guns look completely inferior especially the alpha damage okay now yes your rate of fire drops dramatically between the 17 pounder gun and the 20 pounder gun but look at the penetration values 226 and 258 and at 42 millimeters on he you can technically pen even light tanks and do a lot of damage to them so what i suggest you do now bear in mind these games were played on the north american server you can tell in the top left corner up here it says uh, usc so now my only gripe and i did bring this up you'll see this in later on in the video my only gripe that i brought up was the fact that in order for you to get the decent gun you have to use the 17 pounder gun against tier 10s. I do 150 alpha. There are light tanks at my tier that do vastly more damage than me and fire faster than me and reload faster than me. The only way I manage to get as far as I have with this tank is to follow the heavy tanks and basically be hit point pinadas. Take a hit, let my friendlies fire back. I then occasionally knock them for 100, 110. That's not 150 wargaming, I'm sorry. One of the things, my biggest gripe currently right now in wargaming is if my gun says I do 200 or 390 alpha, okay, let, let, let's just say a random number, 240. 
and I shoot a tank and I only do 111. Do the math. They said, oh, there's a chance you can do 10% less or 10% more. Okay, if I'm doing 240 or 200, whatever number I've picked, and I'm only doing 111, that's more than less than 10%. Do you not know how to do mathematics in Russia? I, I, I genuinely am asking. Do you not understand what physics are? Do you not understand what mathematics is? Arithmetic. Do you understand any of those words? Are they foreign concepts to you? I'm sorry, but if the gun says it does... 150, it should do 150. No low rolls, none of that crap, no more, none of that. And the fact that you have said several times in posts on forums on your own website and in vi previous videos that ghost shells are a thing of the past is utter, utter, utter flim flam. Now, I'm purposely trying not to swear in this this video because I, I want monetization but make no mistake wargaming I'm seeing it with my own eyes other content creators are seeing it with our own eyes and it is happening again and again and again you even see it happen in my Brask video that's coming up an artillery shell that lands literally on top of my tank and should have killed me did nothing to me didn't stun me didn't do any damage to me didn't do anything i even contacted that artillery player at the end of the game and asked him did you actually do any damage to me and he went no i'm like so you fired a ghost shell and he was like what's a ghost shell i just thought i missed you and i'm like no your shell landed flush on my tank And, but ghost shells aren't a thing anymore, are they, Wargaming? So that's a lie. You promised that you wouldn't add Cold War era tanks. That's a lie. Do you not understand what the words accountability mean, Wargaming? If you're going to say that, you, you, that you've implemented something and it works as intended, and it doesn't, take accountability own up and say i'm sorry on our test servers under these specific unique scenarios it worked for us we have no idea why it's not working on the released servers we are we are we're sorry we apologize you know and just give people i don't know 500 gold that's nothing to you as compensation or, or give us some 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 like 500 bonds or, or uh, 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 books or something or, or even boosters again that, that's nothing to you that doesn't hurt your economy until you can get these ghost shell problems sorted because if I'm in an FE for two if I'm in my Death Star and there's a stationary I don't know T95 side on to me and I shoot plum dead center and I literally watch my shell just go <clears throat> and disappear and I've now literally got my whatever long reload I've got then he comes back looks at me and then fires a HE shell at me and then does a full 1100 and something damage to me with a full pen how is that even fair because you can't control or understand how your fucking network code works. This is your game. You are supposed to know what does and does not happen. But you don't. You are so far out of touch with your player base. That it scares me. Now that aside. Let's get back to the Centurion Mark 1 review. Um, it is quite mobile for what it is. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to take a look at my stats. Here it is. I've played 21 games, 57% win 
some chance. And I average 628 hit points. That's kind of pathetic. But I do have a 70, some, set, uh, over a 70% hit chance ratio. So that should tell you something. <sighs> so let's take a look. Now, radio doesn't mean anything. Radios have very rarely meant anything in the game. Engines, gun, turret. Tr always start at the bottom and work your way up. If you're in any new tech tree, get the tracks first. That way you can also offset any weaknesses that you have by having inferior equipment pre-attached. You can offset it with actual equipment like a rammer or, or vert stabs or optics, things of that nature. Okay, and then once you've done that, you know, by all means, get a better gun if you can. Why? Because the tracks now say, oh, your load limit's increased. I mean, look, stock repair time, 571. No, no, my repair times are almost 9 to 10 on average, 12 seconds even with this crew, because my crew's not on their second or third tier of skill yet. Point is... Once they are, that's the minimum, which will be five seconds. That's the minimum it will take for my crew on top of food and various other things. So you can get it round, down to around about four seconds. I believe on one of my tanks, I think it's my... Um, I want to say it's my Lerva. My track repair time is like 3.8 seconds. Um, I know on my T95, my track repair time is four seconds flat. Which does tend to scare a lot of people. Now, my literally, tracks, turret, gun. Make those your priority. Of course, you can get the 17 pounder gun because I believe you unlock it from the yeah, Sherman Firefly and the Carnarvon and the Black Prince. So you should have it already unlocked i have i have it because i've done the black prince uh, i've done the sherman firefly so i i have the gun okay and so i had it so i equipped it immediately didn't need the tracks didn't need the tracks for the the, the second engine which you should un unlock from the yeah you unlock it from the comet the conqueror the cromwell um the, the challenger the charioteer always look at equipment that you you that unlocks for multiple vehicles okay conway tortoise why because it helps you cut down the grind for those vehicles this is why i say to people look at the medium tank line first in any nation if that nation's flushed out i.e they've got artillery light tanks mediums heavies tank destroyers so uh, british german american uh, soviet Always look at the medium tank lines because they're going to have equipment that goes across the board. Okay, they're always going to do that. And so I could unlock this radio and that saves me not just nine grand. So on other places, but there we go. I'll buy it. I'll equip it. Okay, now let's take a look at this. So this can go on the tortoise. Okay, so let's take a look at the tortoise real quick for me. Okay, so we're going to go on tech trees. We're going to go tortoise, view details. Actually, no, we're just going to click on it. Okay, there. We saved 9,000 research on the tortoise. Now, this engine, uh, there you go. Carnarvon, Conqueror, Conqueror, gun carriage in the tortoise. Okay, so if I get to the Conqueror, okay, which is here, and I unlock it, do you see what I'm saying? This covers Badger, Conway, Stage Death. That covers the Death Star. Um, do you see what I'm saying? You always want to look at where you can save. Be be very frugal in your EXP grades. And this is why I say to people, try going down the medium tank line first. Because you will unlock a lot of stuff for both the light tanks as well as the heavies. And then when you go down the heavies, you unlock a lot of stuff for the tank destroyers. Okay. Like the Conway. If I go to my Conway now. 
which I haven't purchased yet. But if I go to my Conway, there you go. This, like I said, this will cover the Conqueror. So I'm saving 45,000 EXP in my Conqueror. That's less grinds for the Conqueror. Uh, this gun, I believe, is only for this tank. And uh, yeah, it's only for this tank. See, some guns back in the day used to be used to cover multiple vehicles. Um, but War Gaming and their Infinite Wisdom, namely they rolled a one on a D20, um, decided to say no, we're not going to do that no more because players were able to literally power grind to tiers eight, nines, and tens in a day. And to them, that that just seemed a little bit too fast. Again, makes no sense. And so, yes, my end goal is to get the Death Star. So I will have, uh, like I said, I've got the radio already unlocked. So that's my end goal is to get to the Death Star. So in theory, all I've got to do to unlock that is the tracks and the gun. And hell, I don't even need the tracks. I can just unlock the gun. And once I've unlocked the gun, I can just run a whole bunch of blueprints and 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 start fragmenting out the blueprints on this. And then before you know it, I've got the Death Star unlocked. Not purchased, unlocked. Once I purchase it, that's when I know I'll be, I'll be happy. But that's where I'm going. I want to go down, I want to get the Centurion Action 10. Everyone's like, why, it's a shit tank. No, it's not, actually. It's actually better than the Mark 48 pattern, and that's my, one of my babies. I'm not even kidding. It's a really good tank. I've played it on the test server. It's a really good tank. Um, but that's my whole point, guys. Pay attention. Now, back to the Centurion. Um... So this engine, like I said, will sort me out for a whole bunch of other tanks. Tracks, I tend to just be vehicle specific, unfortunately, which doesn't make sense because there are some tank platforms out there that um, do share same technologies, uh, including tracks, but is what it is. So that's the goal. Now, I hope you enjoy the gameplay, guys, because um, the gameplay kind of sucked but uh it was fun to play and uh yeah so on to the games yay tier nines and a tier seven where i don't even have 200 mil of pen even with a premium ammo fucking yay thank you daddy wargaming thank you you fucking twats seriously please fix your fucking matchmaker don't get me wrong your maps are all fucking your maps are, are just skid marks. Literally, they're just skid marks on the underwear of Putin's fucking trousers. I'm not even joking. A, a, a hobo with diarrhea who shits in his clothes can design a better map than any of the maps that are currently in this game. Prove me wrong. You keep fucking with what works. You keep adding stupid fucking city rocks and, and why is it some houses are, are destroyable and others aren't on the same map makes no fucking sense. If your servers can't handle the fact that some buildings can be destroyed, yet you added you, you added physics into the game. So it can't be that. It has to do with the fact that you have some of the world's most laziest fucking map design. I swear, you might as well just go to chat GPT and tell it. This is a grid reference. Please make us a map in Unity. And it spurts out this cancerous shit. And then you say, excellent. Now give us 10, now give us 30 tanks where the gun depression doesn't work. The, the power to weight ratio is absolute fucking toilet water. And we will now say that this is the standardary matchmaker for these tanks. Thank you. Have a nice day. Because that's pretty fucking much what's going on. Like, you're an idiot, mate. Bye. Bye. Unless one of you guys has the balls to go around and take on that fucking uh, 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 
just saw, which none of you do, I'm going to have to do this flank. Because you're all just going to stand there staring at each other. Like, who's going to walk forward? Who's, who's going to take the first hit? Who's going to walk forward? Who's going to walk forward? Who's, are you going to walk forward, John? No, I'm not walking forward, John. What about you, Dave? No, I'm not going. No, I'm not going. You go? No, I'm not going. Why are you not going? Because look at him, I ain't going. Why, why don't you go? No, fuck you. Why don't you go? No, fuck you. Why don't you go? Look at him. No. Seriously, that's, that, that is literally heavy tanks in a fucking nutshell. Prove me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, morons. Yeah, come on, Jasaw. Nice. Don't care. Don't care. Do you understand? I don't care. I don't care. Don't care. Do not fucking care, because like I said, I like tankers try... Uh, EBR, you are just pure trash. Uninstall the game and go back to road blocks. Sorry, but that was just pure trash. Pure fucking trash. And what's worse is literally this. I'm on fucking, let's see, what is it? Uh, 10 milligram diazepam. And these fuckers, the, U, the, the US player base is testing the limits of my medication, and I am not fucking joking. Yeah, people are playing on, on the European server, and you want to know what they're doing? Literally everything in their power, even going back to playing tier 3, tier 4 games, to burn up enough e free EXP to free EXP them way, their way past this tank, and past the Crusader SP. Because you, and your infinite fucking stupidity... Decided to fuck over the British tech tree. And it's not just the mediums that get fucked over. It's also the heavies. Because it's amazing how. There's a certain gun. On a certain premium heavy tank. That's not even remotely available. For the heavy tech tree line. That's a fucking doocy of a head scratcher. Isn't it? Wargaming. And no, I'm not literally pulling this shit out of my ass. Literally, take a look. Go, in, go into the British tech tree. And no matter what client you're in, North America or EU, it's still the same shit. Now bear in mind, I'm supposed to be a support medium. So please explain to me how I'm supposed to pen an object 277. With 171 miller pen. Yeah, well, you can't. Yeah, I know I can't. How am I supposed to pen a BZ-68? How am I supposed to pen a WZ-111? T-57 heavy, if he's blind, deaf, dumb, and retarded, maybe I stand a chance. Keynote, I said maybe. I've legit got to wait here. And see what this... See what that object does. Because there's fuck all I can do. There is fuck all I can do. Absolutely nothing. And all of our dipshit heavies have gone right down there. Gone. Oh, you didn't get your sneaky shot into me. Shame... There's absolutely nothing I can do. Okay, AMX 50B that has one of the strongest fucking turrets in the at this tier went open field. No wonder why you are fucking garbage. There's nothing I can do. I can't pen this thing. Look, I'll even switch to my premium rounds, okay? My premium rounds, okay? This is my gold ammo. This is the best of the best of the best, sir. It's the best I can do. Point blank range. It's supposed to give you maximum penetration, comrade. Duh. Okay? Watch it bounce. And I will even aim for somewhere like the upper deck. There you go, the rear of the tank. Wow. Yeah, this seems fair, doesn't it? Yeah, th this alpha seems fair, don't it, bro? Yeah. 
Fuck all I can do. I, I, I basically scratched his paint. He basically took my head clean off. There you go. And his reload is infinite. Absolutely nothing I can do. Literally, this thing is a joke. How the fuck is this a support, quote unquote, support tank destroyer? Uh, a support medium. Again, I can't fucking pen. Even. Wow, I high rolled. Literally, 111 is considered a high roll for this tank. And I'm, I'm not. Ex I can't even pen that stress. That stress fun. I can't pen him. I can't even see him. Two pen him. Waffen Traeger. No shot. Strixie. Oh, good shot. Good shot. Object. Yeah. Like I said, please explain to me, Wargaming, how I'm even supposed to do anything. I'm legit basically just a fucking free XP pinata to these people. That's all I am. We got a Su-130 who can't hit shit because they've all moved. Will he move? Absolutely not. He's just going to sit there for the rest of the game. And you'll say, but I got no armor. How about you move to get a, a better position to actually get shots on target then? Radical fucking concept, I know. Look at the T-95. The T-95 has moved more than that Su-130. And the Su-130's power to weight ratio is at least three times that of the T-95. So, seriously, what the fuck is your excuse? You don't have one, do you? Exactly. He doesn't have one. But he's not going to move because Su-130 Su Su players don't move. Yeah, of course, yeah. ISU's just going to lob a fucking shell from downtown through a fucking wrecked friendly tank in front of me and pen me. Because, you know, wargaming, right? No, just literally absolute fuck. Yeah, yeah see, see, see. What, what is the accuracy of the Sioux uh, 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 152 with the 950 gun? In what case, it's the BL gun, right? Let, let's take a look at what his accuracy is, shall we? At that distance, which is more than 100 meters. Okay, more than. Because I've got 400 meter view range. I would have fucking lit him up like a Christmas tree. Okay, so he's outside my view range. Okay, taking into account his camo factor and all that shit, I still would have fucking spotted the son of a bitch. Okay, because guess what, War Gaming? Nice fucking map design. The more you fucking change shit up, the more it fucking stays the same. Okay. End of. If you truthfully want to fix the game, this is what you do. Okay. And I mean this with all the love and respect in the universe. So, please understand when I say this. Alright. This is what you do. Fire your entire map development team. Fire them. How many times have you released a map knowing it's broken? Not giving a flying fuck. Knowing that it's broken. But you still released it anyway. Okay. Crew's fine at 100%. Nice. But you still released it anyway. Anything but the cruiser. You. Knew it was broken. And. Finally, I get a decent fucking turret. Decent-ish, I should say. By the way, th this is quite literally the, the loadout that you need. 
when when running this tank until you get the bigger gun. And see, like I said, this is with me running boosters. Okay, so we now have a better survival chance. We've got a little bit more hit points. But still, I definitely should have seen that I that SG 152. Of course, tier tens. <laughs> Oh, matchmaker, you are fucking testing the limits of my medication. Look at this shit. Please explain to me how this is even remotely fucking fair. Tier 9s, tier 10s. Are you high? You've got over 13,000 fucking players on your server, and this is the shit you're max. No, I'm sorry, but I'm formally... I'm, no. It's not hard to make a plus one neg one matchmaker. I'm sorry, but it's not. And you fuckers know it. But I have no idea why you fucking Cossack Belarusian dickheads can't figure out that a... That a, 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 a fucking plus one neg one matchmaker is, is ideal. I don't care. Yeah, tier 10s will see tier 10s and tier 9s. Tier 9s occasionally will see tier 8s. Okay? Oh, but we got tanks that have preferential matchmaker. Then fucking remove the preferential matchmaking. It's literally just a couple of lines of code. Hashtag delete. Not hard. You could try it, maybe. At this range, he's side scraping. Can hit him, though. What, what? You're welcome, heavies. I've legit got to stay here now because we've got an object 777 who thinks he can side scrape. Well, there's a... I know that there's a Jasaw there as well. So we've already killed one... Well... Assisted. Jasaw was last seen back there, but I know he was closer. And it just makes sense that he'd be closer. Thanks, Wargaming. Thanks. Uh, nice to know that my shells just magically fucking disappear. There we go. Thank you, Gunner. In what way? What, what, what do you want me to do, mate? Seriously, what, 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 what do you want me to do? Yeah, I'm getting shot at. What, what more do you want me to do? Yep, the Jasaw's back there. Track hit. Our track has been damaged. Okay, where'd that go, Wargaming?
How many? I, I legit want to get like a ma missing magic shell counter on on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm bounced. Can I get my sh my, my track back? Thank you. Don't care. Yeah, see, I can see a super conk. Like I said, it would have been nice if the videos came in with me, but he didn't. Close. Yeah, yeah. He's just going to casually just outdrive my shell as it's... Wing in its way. There you go. That just literally just went nowhere. There you go. Look out! Look! Look! Look at the. F this war gaming is an absolute fucking joke. I think a five-year-old could get out, grab one of my shells, and pretend it's an airplane, and and fucking it would it would fly faster. And you actually think I'm fucking joking. I'm not. I'm not joking. I genuinely think that. Look at me, mummy! <laughs> Walk up to the fucking tank and go dink and fucking hit the fucking thing better than my actual gun and my gunner. I can't believe I actually... See? Upgraded the turret and could bounce a fucking shot from the fucking saw. Otherwise, that would have gone right through. <sighs> Tell us how you really feel, Cobra. And that was a second class mastery badge. Are you fucking kidding me? That was for the second class mastery badge. Can I get the gun? No. I need another 3k. That's my goal. My goal is just to get that gun. So I stand a chance. A fighting chance. That's it. That's all I want. And then watch. No, my fucking luck. The tank will fucking grow on me. And I'll be like, I love this thing. Just like I did with the Jackson. I hated the Jackson. No, no, seriously, when <laughs> I was not kind to that tank when I did a review of that vehicle, I was not kind to that tank at all. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I was not kind to it. Again, see, look, up here, 12,804 players on the North American server, and you're literally giving me this dog water fucking... Just why, man? Why? No, I am not Russian middle. No. They've got three light tanks, of which they can pen me. No. I mean, I'll try and go hold down. Notice I say try to go hold down. Okay, you know, I'm gonna go with this Progetto. I'm going with my Italiano. Hey, Mambo! Mambo Italiano! Oh, lo, lo. Now that song's just stuck in your head and you're welcome. Mambo Italiano! Oh, lo, lo. Mambo Italiano! Oh. <laughs> I love doing that to people. <laughs> like, I was like, Mana Mana! Mana Mana! Manamana. 
I did that the other day during my live stream and woo, people were pissed. Yeah, if he wants a shot, you can have it. Okay, so he lit me through the building. That's how it's done, Progetto. Eh, hey, Mambo! Mambo Italiano! Oh, no, no! See, T32's right. Whoop, let's go down here. Go hold down, just like that, T32. Oh, Progetto, Progetto. A manana, manana. Que passa? Do I have a gun? No, I do not have a gun. Depression. Because this is a terrible tank. I do not have the gun. Depression. This is a t -t 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 terrible tank. I do not have the gun. Depression. But I can pen your bloody commander's hatch. G -g -g gun depression. Oh, so sick. Gonzalo. Manana, manana. Missa Casota. Do I? Mm. Yeah, fuck it. What up, dude? Whee! <laughs> What's up, dude? Eh, mambo, mambo italiano, no, no, mambo italiano. Uh, bro? Of course, yeah. You go right through my armor and go right to my driver. Bong, thank you. And this is where I wish I had a single HE shell. Wow, love doing that. Eh, hey, mambo, mambo italiano. Oh no, no. You just love. You know, would be a fucking shame if you guys hadn't. Bro? Oh, this fucking gun depression. Uh, hello? Wargaming? Nice know that uh, literally I'm staring at the fucking heavy thing. Go, 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 go. Spook him out, spook him out. Oh, wow. Wow. Really? Perma tract. Could you please do me the wonderful favor of fucking going?
come off of it. I'm stuck here. There's absolutely fuck all I can do. Uh, IS-3... 232... We need... We need our Walker Bulldog. Oh, fuck off! I'm legit just pissing money away now. Well, I am fucked! Fucked with a capital F. Absolutely fuck all I could do. Team are fucking stupid. Okay, half of them click battle and then fuck off and go have a wank. Or fuck off and go do something. Okay, case in point, okay, don't click battle unless you want to fight. I don't care. If you if you live in a trailer and you've got nine fucking kids, right, and they're all misbehaving, guess what? I don't care. I don't fucking care. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, you should smack them upside the fucking head and tell them to knock it the fuck off. That's what my dad did with me. Yes. Thank you. Finally. A fucking gun that I can use. And I'm not even joking. A gun I can finally fucking use. Okay, next is going to be the engine, because we need the mobility. Uh, but a 30k for the engine, mm, and it would give me a second tier engine for this guy. And of course that would give me that. So I don't need the tracks for the engine. Don't need the tracks for the gun. I will need it for the turret though. Let's get a tier 10 gun though, a tier 9. Of course it gets that shitty 210 hash shite that uh, Cobras get. Okay, fair enough. Yep, I'm, I'm planning on getting the Action 10 as my tier 10 uh, British. My first tier 10 Brit... Yeah. First tier 10 British tank. Thank you. Learn to speak Cobra. A lot of this stuff's just going to get edited, like the load times and stuff, so half this stuff, me prattling on about something, is probably not even going to matter, but yeah, I don't give a fuck. Alright, so yes, I am going up north to help the heavies, because they do have quite a lot of tank destroyers that I want to get some chunks into. Cool, cool, cool. I am going... Blip, blip. Now bear in mind, I still have the stock engine, so I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a bit on the slow side. Up and at them. Let's do this. All right, six seconds. Reload's gone up a little bit, but it's worth it. And I mean that it is worth it. Um, my goal is to. 
try and figure out how to make this tank useful um, usable like come on man 12 degrees a fucking KV-13 is going up a hill faster than me and I'm how many generations ahead of this tank at that tank Yagi 88 is going into position good for him uh, you know what we do I yeah you know what? I will I will all right nice 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 all right all right all right yeah you see the problem is I can't get this mission complete I can't um, everyone keeps telling me oh you gotta do you know really bruv really a rickety ass wall and I can't knock it down alright IS IS3 I'm on my way I'm on my way there's an ISU 152 of course Artie does its thing I'm gonna loop around and try and use what little gun depression I have come around Hola comrade goodbye you're trapped dealt with Uh, gun? Uh... You know, I would really just love to have like a flip the bird emoji response. You want to grow some balls? No, we've got a VS that's literally just AFK. You know what? I do have a nice bouncy turret. There's nothing stopping me from going up here. Don't care. Good, he's dead. That was the only thing stopping me. Hawk of 30 actually won that, fucking hell. Bro. Bro. You know, fuck it. How do I not have shots on this guy? There we go. Well, he's just perma track now. Got him. And this is where they all fold like playing cards. Oh, missed that one. But he missed me, so... Nice. See? A gun is the biggest difference. See? Um, Wargaming? Where'd my shell go, bro? Good kill. Now, now he's reloading. Was it really worth it, mate? Yeah. Just gotta, once the crew's got its... 
There you go. GG. That's a flat out GG well played. Not too shabby. Almost 2k damage um, with the assist. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Two kills. Yagi88 had a great game. Good for him. Damn, that was a good game for him. Happy for that. Happy with that result. Like I said, it's all about the gun. The gun, the gun, the gun, the gun, the gun. And I'm not even joking. It's all about the gun. Get yourself a good gun. And you will do wonders. Second class badge again. I uh, have no bonuses to apply, unfortunately. What I'm going to do is go to him. I want to send him a message real quick. Send message. Bloody good game, mate. Five kills. Nice one. Keep it up. See, I like to do, um, I like to do friendly messages like that to let them know that they did amazing. I mean, I did, what, I was fourth on the team damage done. And, what? It, like I said, it, it, that was a bloody good game. That was a bloody, bloody good game. Um, can't really say much for the guys on the enemy team, but it is what it is. Sometimes you're winners, sometimes you're losers. Yeah, I know. I lost. I literally lost 7k that game. And that's fine. You're going to lose credits at tier 8. Especially not a non-tier 8 premium. And, like I said, my crew aren't even remotely up there yet. Um, next tier of skills they're also going to get is Brother in Arms. Um, Commander is definitely going to get... Um, uh, either recon no we'll go repairs we'll go repairs get that up once the repairs are up I will then swap over to a different skill then reset their skills and give them all brother in arms and then the second set of skills will go back to repairs you always want to have repairs as the skill that you're grinding out right now I just want to get these skills started so that was not a bad game um, we can get the radio, but I'd rather save up and get the engine. I'm only 20k away from the engine. Um, like I said, this thing needs mobility. Mobility is this thing's best friend. If you can go hold down, great. And I mean that. If you can go hold down, great. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's all about, you know, figuring out what to do. And the turret, the new turret, 254mm will bounce stuff okay you will bounce stuff stock turret no um so you kind of got to get out of that mindset also you have a great big cacking weakness right here um so if anyone hits you with he they will aim for this um driver's viewport well it's not really is it the driver's viewport or is this a centralized driver no that is the driver's viewport it'll aim, they'll aim for the driver's viewport uh, or your lower plate um so yeah, when, if you can go hold down, you know, they're going to have a hard time getting you out um, with regular AP ammo, of course. Um, but again, if they fire, I think it's 125 and up, they will overmatch your turret. So bear in mind with that, guys. But yeah, um, the... This tank, I've got a love-hate relationship with. Um, I'm currently at, what, 60% um, win rate in this thing. Um, and I'm not even joking. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Um, it is a good tank. Um, I'm not saying it's not. It is. It is a good tank. However, it has some glaring weaknesses. And I'm not even joking. It really does. But what tanks don't? Um, in a platoon, if you can, if you do come across three of these in a platoon, do you really have to worry? Yes. Um, as you saw, the stock ammo is enough to get pen certain tanks and in even at awkward angles. That IS three was nicely angled. I'll give him that. Um, when I came across him and I shot, I honestly thought my shell was going to bounce, which is why I purposely stopped for a second and aimed a little bit da more down to the uh, uh, lower left, my lower left, and it hit me in the tracks and did damage. I was like, ooh, 
I've got enough to go through his drive his uh, uh, um, return wheel was that his drive wheel anyway the rear wheel um, and so that's what I did I just kept him tracked kept him tracked friendlies were doing their thing and you know now if he had had hardening on I don't think I would have been able to have tracked him um, because 200 let's see if I even if I did a high roll of 288 on on that track with hardening I think his track hit points is 500 and something so I'd have to have shot him three times in the tracks to actually uh, and high rolled two of the three um, to have tracked him so a lot of people when they look at uh, uh, things like uh, like modified configuration or hardening they think they think well, what's the point if you're in a tank that no one knows like it's got okay good armor like I'm like an e100 or a mouse or even um, an American the American t10 TDs um, go for it um, I even know some light tank players that will run hardening because they're sick and tired of getting tracked instantly and <clears throat> done you know um but this is my current configuration guys i've got vents uh rammer of course and uh i've got improved aiming class now i could drop the improved aiming class now this is what i would do um i would drop the improved claim for, for a vert stab um mostly because this tank has speed um once it gets the next engine you're going to see this. It's a night and day tank between the stock engine and the upgraded engine. It really is. Um, and I've even seen some people throw a turbo on there. Um, I've even seen some people throw a uh, turbo on it. Um, just for the lols. And uh, I don't go with the additional grousers. I only have that on my Cromwell when I want to do like a ramming session. And I don't want the, the terrain to slow me down from stopping my speed from doing my ramming. But that's only if I'm equal tier. If I'm lesser tier, I switch out uh, uh, at like bottom of the tier barrel. I swap out to another build, which is why I like the alternate configurations. Um, talking of, um, what kind of alternate configuration will I go with? Um, um, I would go this... this and then that don't bother with the concealment concealment is not going to help you um, but it does help out with yeah, uh, you know literally 15 horsepower per ton is really good um, you can set the thing up to be a little ramming son of a bitch um, <laughs> I'm sorry but you can have point two nine accuracy you know with the other gear I've got equipped um, and of course you swap out your firepower slot to make that even better that's what I would do alright so anyway guys that was the Cromwell uh, sorry Centurion 1 review um, let's give it one more game and uh, let's see uh, try and maybe get a little bit more work done Again, now I've got the upgraded gun. I don't really mind, mind getting into tier 9, tier 10 games. Um, because now I know I, I, I can go through the, the T-32's turret. Um, okay. Alright, now the BZ-176 will give me a hard time. Um, but everything else I can pen with, with my stock rounds. Uh, again, stock ammo has 226mm of pen and the premium has 258 so technically i could be able to go through a t32's turret um all right so what we're gonna do um gonna see where our boys are going yeah see i would i wouldn't mind getting a bigger engine Okay, all three of our BZ 176s is going this way, so I guess, fuck the north, there's their one BZ 76, what are 
We're doing a solid lance push. No sleep till Brooklyn. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Mm. 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 Bam, bam, mm. Bam, 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 bam. Mm. 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 No sleep till. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Brooklyn. Bam, bam. Alright, oh, Yaggy's over there. This section's pretty slippery. Ooh, nice. Bro, see, like I said, if I had the better engine. And of course, the gun elevation bug strikes. Come around him. Thank you, Gag. I'm gonna beat his reload. Done. If you're gonna go, go! Jesus. Honestly, I should have turned around and defended the base. It's my own bad. But I saw them all go and I thought, well, fuck it, I'm support medium, so why the fuck not? And we did. Hopefully we've got a couple of blind shots. I know I missed the Yag Tiger, but I did see a tree fall and I figured, what the hey, we might hit something. So, is what it is, guys. Alright, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the, uh, the Centurion 1 in a nutshell. It's an interesting tank. Has its ups, has its downs, like every other tank. Okay, guys, so that was it. You saw the games, you saw the gameplay, and uh, yeah, you saw the struggles that I was having. Um, on a ridge line, this thing can do good again because it's got a really trolley turret. It's not perfect by any means. You can get penned if they've got the if they know where they're aiming and they can pen you here, and they can pen you here. These boxes on the sides have no hitboxes so don't worry about those okay they these have no hitboxes they don't do anything okay your commander's cupola is up there but if you're on a ridge line like this you know aiming down you can do some i, I mean i bounced a whole bunch of shots from that t32 as you saw and um vice versa and so you can do it guys so all in all um i've got a love-hate relationship with this tank is it going to stay in my garage? Yes. Why is it going to stay in my garage? Uh, for the um, onslaught, uh, front line, sorry. Uh, and because now I've got a good enough gun 
I don't have to worry about tanks like Jag Tigers and stuff like that. I know I can pen the Jag Tiger with 258 miller pen. I can go through his lower plate. I can go through his sides. I can't hit him through the front, but is what it is. You know, take the rough with the smooth. I've got speed. He doesn't. I use speed. I get to the side shots. I get rear shots. I win. That's how you're supposed to play this tank. Anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Then hit the notification bell. Because I do upload videos pretty constantly. And I'm also live on Twitch. Again, links will be in the video description down below. Until then, guys. Take care. Keep shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your Cobra Commander is out.